Robots. Well, the 4th of July has come and gone and people went, done, did, stupid. Pool parties, barbecues, Christ. Oi, mate, did you hear about the American college that had a viral party? It was basically like they charged an admission fee for everyone and whoever got sick first with the virus won all the money. I mean, what? And then there's that. You know, mate, when you're on about, like, people and you're like, oh, they're all stupid, etc., etc., I'm like, oh, you're having a laugh at me. But, yo, I mean, spot on, mate, with the whole humans are doomed thing. It's, it's kind of kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, I mean, I don't get it, all right? Now we're going to have to deal with a second wave of this shit, and everyone who's going to get bent out of shape are the same ones who are having, like, fucking pox parties, okay? Fuck you all. You're, all you're doing is inconveniencing yourself. Like, seriously, I have not seen... You know what? It's not even just this country. There are a lot of other civilized countries out there that are just being stupid about this, and I'm tired of talking about it. But I gotta tell you, Americans, you are being the worst right now. For those of you out on beaches, having mass barbecues, cluttering up bars, you're fucking stupid. Humanity is quite doomed. Josie! What? Research on how to become a citizen of any other country. I'm on it. <laughs> really, mate? You're gonna consider moving? Well, considering how sensitive everyone is, and, uh, how stupid they are, it can't be this bad in other parts of the world. I don't know. And, and you know what the fucking thing is? It's like, I've been reading articles, like scientific articles, saying that the reason people are fucking stupid is because their brains are basically being DDoSed every day with inane information, which is literally affecting their cognitive skills and decision-making processes. So, yeah. Here's my thing. Everybody listening to this, you want to be smarter? Cut back on all this fucking nonsensical bullshit that gets thrown in your face every day. You will be incredibly surprised how quickly your IQ and cognitive skills get better, okay? Because right now, people ain't thinking clearly. And here's the thing, getting back to the virus shit, all right? When it first started happening, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and even fucking Connecticut all got on board early on and imposed strict guidelines to curb all this shit. And the numbers started going down. However, everyone else in the country is just walking around going, I don't gotta wear a mask, science ain't the boss of me. Uh, yeah, science ain't the boss of you, tell that to fucking gravity when you walk off a cliff. Asshole. So here's the thing, the kind of tri-state area in the United States is actually seeing reduced cases. Why? Because we all basically followed strict guidelines and protocol. And guess what? Rest of the country, Florida, Texas, we all need to be part of you. Guess what? Don't come up here, all right? Because guess what? He ain't letting you in. 14-day quarantine. That's how this should have been done from the beginning. And I'm not going to even get into the debate about rights and not having to wear a mask and, oh, I can't breathe with a mask. You can't breathe with a mask on? Don't go outside, stay inside. If you can't breathe with a mask on, you're the reason everybody else should be wearing a mask. Because clearly, you have some kind of respiratory issue that's going to fuck you up if you get sick, okay? If anything, you should be the one out there saying, please, everybody wear a mask, I don't want to die. Christ. Yeah, yeah my, I, I don't know why people say, like, Oi, medical science isn't the boss of me. And I mean, that gravity bit is pretty good, because, I mean, we, we all got, whether we like it or not, gravity is clearly the boss of us. Unless you're in space. We're not in space. Oh, gravity falls. Oh, that was a good show. I like, I like the gnomes, and I like the uncle's hat, and I like Triangle Man. Triangle Man, Triangle Man. Does whatever a triangle can. Picks his nose, flicks a snot. Triangle man. Gra Gravity Falls was a good show. I mean, an exceptional show, actually. Oh, um, there was an Animal Crossing update. Did you play that? Fuck that game. My God, that update sucks. I don't care. You're out there and you're like, oh, this is the best day update ever. You have a real low bar on what an update should be. Okay, giving me a little bit of water to slowly swim around in and dive down to get fucking scallops to give to some hippie otter. Fuck that. This is not fun for me anymore. All the other much requested, not just by me, quality of life updates we desperately need, like add the cart, skip this fucking dialogue. Every time I fucking craft something, I don't even know if they fixed that because I didn't play it long enough and I don't care to. Oh, please, there better be a craft all option. If I go back into this thing and there's no craft all option, I'm going to explode. 
Add the cart and the Able Sisters. Skipping insipid dialogue with fucking characters I don't care about. Craft all option and getting rid of that fucking dialogue that shows me what I caught every fucking time. Oh, I caught a red snapper. Looking kind of dapper. Yeah. Oh, I caught a red snapper. Looking kind of dapper. Oh, oh, I caught a red snapper. I know what it is. I know what it is. Between the fish and the bugs and the foliage, I'm a fucking entomologist by now, okay? I could be a fucking marine biologist being able to identify this shit. And if that's your goal, fine. Other than that, I don't care. Skip it. If I already caught it, bam, red snapper, done. Make it auto, auto disappear. Make that dialogue auto scroll, please. And I gotta say, okay, I did not, I haven't delved too much into this update, but I did not see any of those requested features. If they're hidden somewhere, let me know, because then maybe I'll play this fucking game again. As far as I'm concerned, the villagers can starve, weeds can take over the island, and fuck nook, okay? I paid off my basement, I'm done, okay? I beat Animal Crossing, done. And how about we focus on the good things humans are doing? What? You want to talk about yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot? Or the scary as fuck idea of rebooting Beavis and Butthead to appeal to Gen Z, the most sensitive generation? Even Gen Z people are embarrassed to be classified as Gen Z. Beavis and Butthead reboot? That, that can't be good. Like, seriously, the show was okay when it, when it came out. But the best part was the music videos. The music video commentary was clever, spot on, and fucking funny, okay? Having Beavis run around looking for toilet paper wasn't really top-tier content for me. But, but I mean, it, it was kind of funny. I need TP for my bum hole and all that. Oh, I need TP for my butt explosions. I blame the medicine. I go boom in the bathroom. Benjamin gets off. Oh, what, 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 what's that weird smell? And I say, you're a dead mom. And then she gets sad. So I spit on her keyboard so my oral disgust is palpable. Oh, you know, um, I don't know, you know, the washing the dog bit was also kind of funny. You know, we're all there like washing the dog, washing the dog. And then there was that fire thing that they got in trouble for because some dumb child blamed the cartoon for burning down their house. Because, you know, as a responsible parent, the first thing you want to do is let your children watch Beavis and Butthead. Smart. <sighs> Again, it was good for what it was, but uh, now... But, hey, you know, now that I think of it, MTV had a lot of cool shows back then. There was what, uh, the Eon Flux, uh, The Max, Beavis and Butthead... Um, like, what the fuck happened to that network? Music television said, hey, let's reality. And reality said, no thank you. Um, that's actually pretty concise. Uh, I, I just don't think it's going to work. I mean, I hope it does. Um, and it's supposedly going to be on Cartoon Network, which, you know, still runs South Park. So hopefully they're not going to pull punches. Like, if I watch this shit and Beavis and Butthead are looking for a safe space because their feelings got hurt or some shit like that, I swear to God, I'm gonna burn the TV. Forever. Oh, I have good news. Oh, this will be good. No, for reals! Scott Pilgrim. Sequels. But in anime. Wait, what? Really? Yes, I say. Edgar Wright, who does no wrong, was like, ah! I'd like to revisit it, but in an anime. And I said, well, Ed, you do that. But don't poop on it, or sadness will be had in your coffee. Every day! Sorrow! Just a big red cup of sorrow! Hold the fun. My god. Are, are we just gonna keep digging through the crates in some shitty attempt to breathe life into once great franchises forever? Does no one have any new ideas? Well, I mean, Rick and Morty was kind of new when it came out. It's very fresh. Adventure Time was fresh when I came out as well. Regular show. Um, yeah, but, like, that's 1% of all the content on the planet being created. Between all of the streaming services, anime, fill-in-the-blank originals, all we seem to get is just rehashed shit. Want something new? Speaking of fill-in-the-blank originals, when do I get a movie? What? What? You what? What? I'm not tooting my own whore, but we've been around forever. Forever in a day. I want a movie. Big budget. Michael Bay. Michael Bay type reboot. Explosions and all that. I want super cool CGI and giant robots eh, with the squirrels. Saving the world every day! Michael Bay! Squirrel save the day! I think they only toss money at franchises that haven't done anything in a few decades in an attempt to capitalize on name recognition and nostalgia. Well then, let's take a break for ten years. Duh! And we can't take a ten year break, mate. You know, just so some Hollywood executives can rediscover us and be like, Oi! Neurotically yours! The movie! You know, I mean, it's not really reasonable. Yeah, it... And the worst is they'll try to get, like, Scarlett Johansson or Kristen Stewart to play Jermaine. Oh, Dennis Leary could be the voice of Phony. What? No. Why can't I just do my own voice? 
Hey, well, you know, name recognition, mate. Like, gotta sell it to an audience with shiny Hollywood names. I mean, personally, I'm campaigning for Sean Connery and Daniel Craig or perhaps John Oliver to play yours truly. Oh, I want Samuel L. Jackson for the Hatter. Or maybe Chris Rock. No, no, Chris Rock. Definitely Chris Rock. Yeah. And, um, who plays Pilsy? Uh, Woody Allen on bath salts? You can't wash with salt. That's silly. Whatever, we're not doing a movie. Damn it, I wanted to poop on an Oscar. Not gonna happen. Well, aside from the world being perpetually stupid and a shit ton of franchises getting put through the meat grinder once more, it's basically been the same shit for us. But, oh, oh, Mission Hill. What? Dude, it was this old animated series that had colors so vibrant, it could burn out your retinas. This was pre-HDR. They had to mix special paint for this series. It was fucking awesome. Besides, it was well-written and had good character development. That's something they should make more episodes out of. But it's probably a little too smart for some people, so whatever. Well, actually, I'll go look into that. Mission Hill. Yeah, I think Cake did the theme song, too, which is kind of cool. In the meantime, I'm going to go watch some old movies and cartoons. What? Hey, what, what old? What, why, the, why the vintage content? Because new content is being constantly assaulted daily by the PC police, rendering it unwatchable. Oh, right. There's a lot of that going around in the States, isn't there? You know, like, oh, you shouldn't watch this or say this because the term hate is so broad that anything that makes anyone emotionally uncomfortable must be bad. Oh. It's like, oh, you lost a plot, you nutter. Just because you're emotionally damaged doesn't mean I can't have me raunchy comedy and cartoons, you crying kit. Get your feels sorted, mate. And bugger off until you do. Josie. What? Josie. What? Destroy a random person in Florida. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that. What, you download a humor patch or some shit? No. Begley installed a no-kill firewall for the sake of humanity. Lame. Really, Begley? Well, I mean, people do make some good things, though, you know, like food. Admit it. <sighs> it's fine. The inability to social distance will be the downfall of many. Suck it, humans. You're too stupid to live. And with that being said, Mike Judge, please don't fuck up Beavis and Butthead. Edgar Wright, don't fuck up Scott Pilgrim. And whoever is rebooting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I don't care. The franchise has been dead to me for years. And Edgar Wright, if you want to direct a foamy movie, let me know. I trust you. That's about it. You're the only person in the movie industry I trust right now. I mean, look, I don't think there's a thing he's done I've just, I didn't like. I mean, he's, he's spot on. I mean, between Spice, Shaun of the Dead, World's End, Hot Fuzz. Yeah, Baby Driver was brilliant. I loved it. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, oi. Edgar Wright, I'm on board. Edgar Wright, yes. All right, there we go. We got, we got a director. Edgar Wright's directing the Foamy the Squirrel movie, allegedly. According to rumors on the internet that I just put out there. Oh, Christ, whatever. Never gonna happen. I think we're too, too, in I think we're too intellectual for a general audience. This is why I spit on keyboards. All right. Whatever. We out. Thanks for listening. Everybody be safe out there. Even though you refuse to be, for some reason, I want to save your lives, even though I hate you. Get good humanity. Christ. <laughs>